Good morning. Today I want to talk to you about one of our readings that we find in the book of John. It is John chapter 15, verses 12 and 13. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. This is Jesus when he is teaching and um, trying to get those in his midst to understand what it is that his message means. Let me repeat this. Love each other as I have loved you. And then greater love has no one than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Well, that means loving all the people that are in our midst. And today I want to remind you that it's Mother's Day, so please be sure to give um, all the special women in your life a special hug and some extra love. It can be a neighbor, a teacher, a parent, a grandparent, an aunt, um, even a friend, but be sure to thank them for loving on you. And then the greater love, that doesn't mean that we actually have to, um, say, cut off our arm or give somebody our ear necessarily to lay down our life, but it does mean going the extra mile to show love to someone else. So this morning, I had a couple of ideas for you folks to think about how you can show love to somebody else. When one of my um, children was younger, um, there was a fundraiser and he um, colored these pictures and we could buy note cards. Well, you don't have to go and buy a special drawing for someone in your life, a friend or a neighbor or someone special. You can just draw and pass that on, give that to someone I promise it will make their day. Another way that you can certainly show your love and go the extra mile for family or friend is to share something that you have. It may not be a, an entire candy bar, but it could be part of a snack or um, sharing a piece of candy with someone that you know may not have any and want some, or even sharing um, with a friend or somebody at school. Another way that you can share your love, and sometimes this might be with somebody that you see or even somebody in your house, and that is simply to make them a simple peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, sometimes if a parent doesn't have uh, time to make a meal, um, you can make it for yourself or make it for somebody in your family or, as I said, a friend, and that is showing them that you love and care for them. And finally, another thing, another way that you can show love, and this is especially in your house and as a mom, I know I would appreciate it whether you are 2 or 22, and I have all ages, and that is this simple little broom and dustpan. It's just your size. And I can assure you, there are people in your midst that would love to have you try to help sweep and clean up or even pick up toys after yourself. What Jesus is trying to, to teach us in this passage, I think, is to love on each other and to care for each other because Jesus commands, Jesus tells us to do that. And in, as his followers, Jesus urges you and me and everyone to love on those in our midst, those that we come in contact with, and go the extra mile to show them that we care. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the life of Jesus, his teachings, and how we can apply them to our lives today. We think especially about those that we love and care for in ways that we can really show them how important they are to us. 
whether it's helping with a chore, drawing a picture, just listening or giving 